guys, I hope you're having a great day. As you can see, I'm not wearing any makeup. I mean, except for the brows. That doesn't cover it. You've probably already seen the title, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm reviewing the Revolution XX, the Amethyst Crystal XX, Crystal X shadow palette i said in the previous videos that i'm gonna be reviewing separate makeup items from xx revolution rather than reviewing all in one video as i wanted to be more in-depth reviews rather than you know quickly go through it all and say yeah it's good or like oh shit yeah, you know what i mean so this video the eyeshadow palette the very first i haven't reviewed the xx revolution eyeshadow palettes yet so let's do so far I love, 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 love the packaging. So it's amethyst, which is the stone, the crystal. And the packaging itself is like that stone. I think it's really, really pretty. This is a brand new, by the way. I haven't opened yet, so I don't know what to expect. As I want it to be, you know, like proper first impressions reviews. So on the other side of the packaging, what it says is crystal shadow palette glass shimmer transformative shadows rich indulgent color for crystal eyes okay let's open this up i love this even more it looks like a proper you know crash stone love 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 the packaging okay let's see what we got so far looks I thought it's gonna be all like purple and pinks. We even have a green and like blue and love this guys. All shimmers comes with a massive mirror as well. Let's do a little swatch to see what we are playing with. Love the packaging. Love it is actually compact. It's not like massive. So if you want, you can have it in your back with you. It's not you know huge. When I'm filming my review videos, first impressions videos, I prefer not to check anything about it online. Not to make like a false impression prior actually reviewing the item so that's why i don't ever ever check about it like anything you know just to make a proper first impressions review so from this packaging i thought we're gonna have this kind of shades because i know that they do other stones as well like shadow palettes i think it's four in total i don't want to lie because i'm not sure but i know that they do our palettes as well so i thought maybe this one is like purplish pinkish tones but it's very beautiful palette though, like I really really like it. To begin with, let's do some swatches. I'm just gonna go like this with the shades. Let's start from this. Oh, okay, it has a texture to it. Okay, that's intense, you guys. Wow. That could even work as a highlighter for a like pale skin, <laughs> and you would use way less than that. Just to see if it blends easy. Oh, it does blend easy. Oh my god. Okay. Wowzers, you guys. Wow, that's intense. It's another light shade, very similar to this one. I'm just trying to see what's the difference. This one is more cool undertone, and then this one is a bit like warmer tone to it, a bit more of goldenish color, kind of. It even looks yellowish when swatching it. Although in a pan it just looks you know white with a bit of a yellow shimmer in it. Let's just switch all colors because why not? I love 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 this like coral color. This one is like a bronzy color. Alright, 
this watch is quite impressive. I love what I see. They delivered what it promised. That is a glass shimmer transformative shadows, rich indulgement color for crystal eyes. Totally true. Can't argue about any of these aspects. Let's see how it's gonna look on the eyes. If it's easy to blend, because one is to do, you know, swatch with a finger rather than, you know, a brush. So we'll see how intense the color is using a brush and how easy it is to blend. So without any further ado, let's create a makeup look using this Anatix Shadow Palette by XX Revolution. All right, so we're gonna start from prepping the eyes. I'm gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the C2. Gonna quickly set this up with a Revolution XX Quick Fix setting powder. I have a few looks in my head that involves the eyeliner and doing kind of more simple look, kind of. The one, the I think Kylie Jenner wore with a colorful inite corner because this will just work for that. I think this time if you want I can do that makeup look because it will be just super easy to create and to recreate for use. So leave a comment down below let me know if you would want that. But I think because this is a first impressions review video I'm gonna do makeup look that involves a bit more colors. I'm taking the Real Techniques shading brush. I'm gonna start from this peachy color. I'm not wearing any foundation yet in case we're gonna have like loads of fallouts or anything because I have no clue. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go slightly bit higher than my natural crease is basically where the orbital is. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I'm using the same brush and I'm gonna add a bit of this bronzy shade. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm taking a slightly bit densier brush. This one is called shading brush. So I'm taking this purple shade. And I'm gonna go in and out a corner. We're gonna create kind of like a halo look, but then not really. So I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend this so I don't want this harsh line. As you notice, I didn't go all the way through with this like, purplish color. I just went in an eye corner and outer and then blending it with the clean brush. Next thing I'm doing, I'm taking this light pink shade and I'm gonna go slightly bit closer to the middle of the eye. Stacking it up, so leaving the middle of them. All right, and now closer to the middle, I'm taking this light blue shade. Still not back in the middle, exactly, just close to the middle. Now with this one, I go into this like, crease part as well a bit. Coming back to the same fluffier brush and just gonna gently blend this. And now in the middle, I'm gonna place this color. So I'm going close to the lash line the most, like I'm concentrating close to the lash line. And then just building up what's left. I feel like this light blue that we added kind of disappeared. So maybe I'll add a bit of this close to this lighter shade that we just applied. Next time I'm doing, I'm taking a Flex Eyeliner by Revolution XX and just gonna do a flick. Let's do the mascara and falses. For the mascara, I'm going to work for high mascara. For the falses, you probably know which ones I'm gonna go because I'm using my current favorite. I have 
I don't know, maybe 10 pairs of this lashes I'm using and reusing because you can reuse as many times as you wish. So these are Dell Magnetic Accents. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna quickly do my face. Taking this peachy kind of color all over the lower lash line. And then in the middle of the lower lash line, I'm just gonna dot this color. fix this eyeliner in the eye corner mascara and we're done what do you guys think of this makeup look eyeshadow palette the amethyst by xx revolution all right no i do love shimmers i do like glass shimmer as they state on the packaging i just don't like it on my own eyes and i'll tell you why because i do have super hooded eyes and it's kind of a no-no because you know it draws the eye to that if that makes sense so you see the hoods even more than you would do normally but then I kind of like this. I don't think that all attention goes to my hood. I think it just goes to overall shimmer. 
you guys agree? With some shimmers, because I have hooded eyes, it tend to crease a lot, like the way my hood goes, if I look like this. You see how much of the eye it covers? But it didn't crease at all. Not even a slight little bit, or like, you know, crumble, like flake a bit, if that makes sense. Like some shimmers, glitters, pressed pigments, on my eyes at least because it's so super hot and oily at the same time because my skin is so oily it tends to like you know flake a bit crumble or set in the line nothing like that happened because believe it or no that tends to happen more often when i would like it to happen with a makeup product so that's why i was a bit skeptical thinking maybe that will happen but hey nothing happened at all and i think if you would like the shades to be more intense you could use use a wet brush and it would work just as perfect just the shade would be more intense i didn't go with wet brush i just wanted to be more of a smooth you know transfer not super crazy color block overall i'm really surprised like i have to keep looking in the mirror at my eyes if you think it might keep looking my eyes like crazy just because i have mirror in front of me there you go so i keep looking at it checking that it haven't creased at all that definitely gets a thumbs up from me mega impressed great job revolution xx on this amethyst crystal x <laughs> double x shadow palette definitely recommend i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this first impressions review and tutorial video and you found this helpful if so please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and leave a comment down below let me know what you would like to see next up on my channel should i do more of the reviews or more of the tutorials or maybe some vlogs yeah let me know and i shall see you very very soon have an amazing day guys bye ciao for now